before you do anything rash, like pressing another button, may I make an alternative suggestion? The trouble with computers, of course, is that they're very sophisticated idiots. Even the sonic screwdriver won't get me out of this one. Hello and welcome to Theta Sigma's Doctor Who podcast number 13. Now before I go any further, I want to give a special shout out to the lovely Mrs. Theta Sigma, who come this Wednesday, the 1st of May, will have been putting up with my Doctor Who obsession for 20 years, even on one occasion being brave enough to accompany me to the Dimensions Convention in Newcastle. Thank you so much for the last 20 years, Mrs. Theta Sigma. Love you loads, and here's to the next 20, and many more besides. Now in today's podcast... We're continuing our sometime look at the Master, with a look at the emaciated Master, as played by Peter Pratt and Geoffrey Beavers, respectively. Peter Pratt was an English actor and singer who is best remembered for his comic roles in the Gilbert and Sullivan comic operas. Pratt started his career in the chorus of the Doily Cart Opera Company in 1945, moving up to small roles and then understudying Martin Green, the principal comedian. From 1951 to 1959, Pratt was the company's principal comedian, earning critical praise for the famous patter roles. After leaving the company, he moved to a career in theatre, television, concert and radio, although he continued to perform the Gilbert and Sullivan roles throughout his career. However, of course, his best-known role was that of the Master in Doctor Who. I am the Master, and you will obey me. Geoffrey Beavis is a British actor who has appeared in many different television roles. Beavis has worked extensively at the Orange Tree Theatre in Richmond-upon-Thames, both as an actor and an adapter and director of George Eliot's novel Adam Bede, for which he won a Time Out Award, as well as Balzac's Pierre Gorio. He appeared in Doctor Who on two occasions, the most notable as playing the Master in the serial The Keeper of Traken. He also appeared in some of the Big Finish Doctor Who audio dramas, including Dust Breeding, Master and Trail of the White Worm. He's also played the Vicar in the film Goodnight Mr Tom, and appeared in the 1978 television film The Nativity. For Channel 4 television in the UK in 1988, he played a Member of Parliament in a very British coup, and more recently, played a small role in the remake of Clash of the Titans as a noble of Basilica. Beavers was married to Caroline John until her untimely death on the 5th of June 2012. John, of course, played third Doctor companion Liz Shaw. But what of the Master's storyline? After the untimely death of Roger Delgado in Turkey on the 18th of June 1973, the Master's next appearance was in The Deadly Assassin in 1976. The Master, on this occasion played by Peter Pratt, appears as an emaciated, decaying husk at the end of his 13th and final incarnation. Here the Master almost succeeds in his plan to restore himself to full life with the artefacts of Rassilon. The Doctor stops him because the process would have caused the destruction of Gallifrey. Following his adventures and an alliance with the Kraals, as chronicled in the Big Finish Fourth Doctor adventures, the Master, this time played by Geoffrey Beavers, but playing the same Master as Peter Pratt, was drawn to and became stranded on the planet Traken, at the centre of the Traken Union, in a TARDIS configured to the sculpture-shaped Melchior. The Master plotted to take over the Source, the power behind the Traken Union, and use it to restore himself. To this end, over a period of years, he won over Cassia, who later married Tremus and became a stepmother to Nyssa. His plans were thwarted when the Keeper summoned the Fourth Doctor and Adric, who had sent something of his machinations. With the help of Tremus and Nyssa, the Doctor removed the Master from the Source. And that's all for this week. In next week's show, we'll be taking a look at Ninth and Tenth Doctor companion Rose, a character who has divided fandom almost from her very first appearance in the episode of the same name. So until then, thanks again for listening, and... Well, goodbye, my boy. You did quite well. Quite well? Mm. 
It's reassuring to know that my future is in safe hands. Thank you for listening to Peter Sigma's Doctor Who podcast. Doctor Who and its associated shows are all copyright and property of the BBC, and no infringement is intended. <laughs>